how you guys doing? Um, recently, this has been so many things um, been updating and, and some minor and some major releases that I'm going to cover it all in one fell swoop. Nothing into detail, but just most of the major changes with, um, of course, Apple, um, Avid Media Composer, DaVinci Resolve, and of course, Apple's um, blevy of stuff. So we're going to cover Apple first. And um, we haven't really seen any major uh, updates with their video pro apps or pro video apps, probably because um, they have been working on Big Sur and also support for their um, Silicon Max using utilizing their M1 processor, um, which isn't using the Intel anymore. Well, they are, but mostly for some of their computers are, are uh, basically using the M1 processor. So we're going to cover it all. First, we want to cover is the Pro Video Formats version 2.2, and this is primarily support for their Silicon Max. And also, this is a big one, and we're seeing this across the board with Apple. Avid support for uh, DNxHD and also uh, DNxHR for playback, which is a decoder right here. So we're seeing support across the board. I'm um, also going to cover Final Cut Pro 10 which is version 10.5 and um, here we're also listing support for their silicon uh, desktop computers and also support for Avid uh, DNX HR and also DNX HD decoding and playback. Um, there's a bloody other changes, not very comprehensive, so I'm not going to really cover that. Uh, I don't see anything major. And I want to cover some of the other things. Um, same with Motion 5.5. Um, support Silicon Apple Max and Avid support as well. And then we're getting to Compressor 4.5. Um, this is primarily... Um, Apple Silicon Max and Avid support again. Um, now we're going to go into DaVinci Resolve 17 and this has been a major update. Uh, probably one of the most major ones since uh, version 16 first came out. And uh, we're seeing uh, 100 new features and 200 improvements over the, the uh, DaVinci Resolve 16. And now they also recently released um, DaVinci Resolve version 17.1, which is for Silicon Mac update, uh, obviously, and Mac OS Big Sur support. And um, let me see what else we... Oh, there we go. Uh, this goes into the 17.1 uh, update. Also, I noticed as well, Avid Media Composer has a major... Well, not a major update, but they are now supporting... Uh, ProRes raw support um, and I think I've been seeing this across the board um, people want support for ProRes raw and uh, a lot of the video editors and other things out there so um, like I said uh, a little disappointing they didn't have some major updates to uh, some of the pro video apps for Apple but uh, I can see why because they're busy working on Big Sur release and of course supporting um, these uh, many other major uh, applications especially in video and audio support and uh, Big Sur for the Silicon uh, Mac desktops and M1 processor so that's to be expected so uh, those are some of the major updates coming out and hopefully maybe some of the important things I'll cover in the future once I get through all this stuff because it's really too much to do but I figured do an overall view of what's uh, been coming out so uh, thanks for watching and see you guys later